With over 7 million confirmed cases across the world and Nigeria receiving knocks over the testing figures, medical lab scientists narrate their role in bridging the gap. Plus TV Africa, Francis Obome reports. Since the coronavirus broke out in China last year, the world has been in disarray on the mode of testing and finding vaccine for the disease. No doubt, the saddening ravaging effect has been felt almost around the globe. Here in Nigeria, what has been the attitude of Nigerians towards testing vis-à-vis -vis the business of medical lab practitioners? Our job, primarily, is to make use of human samples, biosamples which involves blood, urine, stool, even body, any bodily tissue, you know, of human beings. We use them to diagnose disease conditions. That is to say, to know the state of health of human beings. Now in Nigeria, private laboratories do not have that capacity for now. But I believe in future, because we'll be hearing that we want to start community testing, we will be involved. What we can only do now in our capacity is to refer. When we see similar cases, around us. Because what we do now, you know, now, what is involved now is not actually using the kits, it's the polymerase chain reaction procedures, which is the molecular method. And here in Nigeria, we have few hospitals, which are mostly the general hospitals, teaching hospitals, Naima, which are involved in it. So for now, there are no validated kits that can be able to, be, to um, do this testing at our level. Why National Center for Disease Control, NCDC, has been officially handling the tests? What lies the fate of independent lab scientists? Moreover, there are quite some controversies abounding from claims stating that the virus has close similarities with malaria in terms of symptoms and treatment. Notwithstanding, prevention still remains the best remedy for now. The health advisories, they are everywhere. On the TV, radio, social media, print media. And they are very simple. Physical or social distancing, wash your hands regularly, use a face mask, and so on and so forth. If we follow this strictly, I want to believe it won't be too long before we get out of this challenge. The world is optimistic that humans will win the battle against the virus. But when this victory will be, remains a puzzle. Ubume Francis for Plus TV Africa.